ADHD and this is Holtz. Now I think this is my sixth episode and as I would say, I said before the last, uh, well, in the middle of the last episode, I would be um, making my place look a bit better. Um, well, as you can see, I have. I would take, I'll give you a little tour. Um, I fixed this um, conveyor belt thing. Uh, to actually take stuff out, you'll need a manipulator facing direction you want to take it out. Uh, so that'll be taking, wait, I'll, I'll do a little demonstration. Oh, that is a loud noise. So, um, yeah, uh, once this is done, uh, it will take out stuff from there. And then to put stuff in something else, you need another manip another manipulator um, to put it into there. And then as you can see, that is just taking it and it's put it into there, but it's put it in the wrong hole, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but, uh, alright, I need to find out how I actually um, do that. I think I'll probably need a basic smelting factory here. And see if that will work. But um, anyway, as uh, as I was saying about basic smelting factory, um, I have in fact got the Sfax texture pack, and the the literally literally the only thing that's missing from this texture pack, wow, um, is oh these are flammable these are spikes. Uh, where is it? Hmm. Because there is only one thing that I'm missing, and it is the thing. Yeah, this is the thing we want to make next. The basic smelting factory. Now, I'll still make it. Um, we won't be able to see it, but oh, I guess I quickly pop onto the other texture packs just so you can. Actually, wait. You, you, we've already seen it um, before, so it won't matter. So um, we'll need these materials: gold dust, bit control circuits. I think we made all this last episode anyway. Yeah. Um, so we need. I, I've made so much more steel, so we're prepared now. Um, right. So we've got a block of. Steel, we've got the gold dust. What is the other thing that we need? We need, oh, enriched alloys. Okay, and we got two of them anyway. Right, so we need the enriched alloys there, I think. Like that. Like that. And we've got a basic smelting factory. Now, you can't see that, unfortunately, but I have actually got it in my hand. Uh, I'm just going to pick this up. And place the smelting fetch down there. <laughs> now that looks a bit weird. Um, but anyway, this is what it is. Um, it's powered and it can smelt three things at a time. If I just get three things, uh, get some iron, get some tin, I'll get some, get some sulfur. Now um, we can just put all of them in. Unfortunately, sulfur doesn't. Ah, sulfur doesn't actually smelt. That's a bit weird. Get some copper then instead, just so you guys can see that it does actually make three things. And there we go. Um, I think you can f uh, put batches in there, just fill, uh, fill up, fill it up with power. And I still don't know what these slots do, but um, that'd be something else to find out for next episode. Uh, now I need to start this combiner. Where should I put this? I'll just put it next to that. There we go. That's filled with charge now. Um, so yeah, this is the only thing that's not textured, which is a bit annoying, but. We won't be needing it much, it's just for smelting. We've got all our um, things out here. Now, another thing that I wanted to make, we'll need some glass for this. Oh, there's some gold in there. Um, another thing we'll need to make is these pressure plates don't look that good on the floor, do they? Um, so, there is something new in this um, mod pack called glass pressure plates. Now, I thought these looked pretty cool when I first saw them. So let's have a look. Now look at that. That is pretty. That's pretty good, I think. To be honest, I mean. You, uh, now I can't get in. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'll make. I'll make uh, one short glass. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I mean those glass, 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 glass. Can I say that? Um, these glass pressure plates. Um, I thought they were pretty neat and good looking so I um, just thought I'd um, use them. So now I've got a solid, uh, this is uh, concrete, that uh, is pretty easy to make concrete. That's why I've made so much of it and built my whole house out of it. It's just sticks and stones, so that was pretty easy. Oh, it's, wait, is that a rebar? Oh, it's a rebar. How did I? Hmm. Do I have any rebars left after making them? I think I do because I used up 
the sticks there. Oh, I've still got a bit of concrete left, but um, must have made some rebars. They're not, they're not too hard to make, I don't think, um, that I can remember. This is the next layer. This is going to be like my observatory layer, um, where I can like see if there's any targets. And then what I do, if I see any targets, I can go up to the next level. And this is where I'll be, um, I'll just put a torch in the middle. This is where I'll be launching my missiles into the distance over that fog. Um, so this is going to be my launch pad. And for this episode, uh, I think we should ma uh, start making our missiles. So um, first, this this seems to be going down a bit. But I have noticed that, um, wait, what? how's that going down? Oh, it's not, wait. Oh yes, it is. It's the, it's the disappearing. Yes, I'll, I'll be able to notice that. I hope. Wait. If you go really near, you can hear it as well. Uh, so there you go. It, um, smells three things for you, which is pretty handy. Uh, you can upgrade all these. Uh, I think you can upgrade most of these. Well, you can upgrade the basic smelting factory. I think to like ultimate, which um, probably smelts. I don't know twice as many, like six times. But um. That's also untextured, so hopefully next time I'll be able to find a texture that um, will actually work for this. Um, right, so our battery box seems to be filling up, but it seems to be getting uh, filled quite quickly, so maybe if we'll be able to upgrade it to maybe an advanced... What's a quantum? Oh dear, I'm not going to look at that. <laughs> oh right, okay, so an advanced, it needs five, is that five batteries, so that's just redstone, tin and coal. We'll make five batteries quickly. Uh, tin, redstone, coal. All right, we'll make some of these then. Can we make two at the moment, but get that tin. Wait, do I have tin in my inventory? Yeah, I do. Should be able to make four. Can only make four. Do I have any more tin in there? Oh yeah, I do. Just about. So I need five of these. Ooh. This is where all the recipes come in now. Um, just order that. So I've got five of these. I need three insulated copper wires. This is where I need. I need the leather. Do I have any leather left? Oh, I do. Thank God. All right, that's good. Leather each side of copper in the middle. That's six of them. And then we need an elite circuit. So we need six gold and lapis lazuli block. Right, so we got that. We only need six gold, so I've got enough. Uh, a block of lapis lazuli. Why do we need that? Right, so, well, we've got it. Um, uh, what else do we need? Two advanced circuits, which is bit two basic circuits either side of redstone and diamonds so I've got one basic circuit um, we'll need two diamonds and redstone we need 12 I think oh, I've got 14 um, right so we need a bronze plate more redstone and copper wire bronze plate so we need some bronze there we go I need four, don't I? Jesus, that's a lot of materials. This is where all the big recipes come in now that take a long time to make. Um, last thing we need, redstone. I need some more redstone in a sec. Right, so we've got four of them. Get some more redstone. And then we just need to surround these. Why am I doing three? There we go, and we've got our advanced circuit. And then we've got lapis lazuli block and gold around that. And that's the elite block, uh, the elite circuit. And then what we need now is the three batteries, three copper wires, and the elite circuit. And we have our advanced, our advanced thingy, but Bobby. <laughs> uh, so if we put that down, there we go. That's getting power. Is that draining? Is that being drained? How's that being drained? Um, oh no, it's not. Uh, or is it? Is it going into the right slot? 
I don't know. Is that right now? No. It was right first time, it might just be a bit weird. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Right, so that can go up to 5 megajoules, so that, is that double? No, 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 the other one was, I think, 4 megajoules. Wait, let's check. Yeah, 4, four megajoules. Okay, right, well that's good. That, that's that gone up to 5 megajoules now, which is always good. Um, right, we're going to want some power up to where our place is up here. Like, um, uh, where we're going to make our missiles, because we we're going to need some sort of power to power the missile. So, um, to start off with making the missile, we will need... Let's go for T3, just because that's the highest. We will need a platform, so we need steel plates. Right, we'll need to make... Pl uh, launch platform T1 first, so we need a steel plate and a lot of bronze. So let's get a load of steel and a load of bronze. Steel plate is it, and a load of bronze around it, I think so. There we go, that's our launcher 1. And to make launch 2 we surround that in more steel. Just like this. Oh, that's wrong. That's our launcher 2, and then we'll need Lots of steel plates around the edges of that. Get six. There we go. And that is our launcher platform three. Now what we'll also need is oh that was right, we need just need T three. You need all of these T three things for the uh, launcher. And T three is like the most accurate. So um you probably won't miss wherever you're shooting. Uh so for a launch control panel we need a uh, control panel 2, control panel 1. So we need glass, copper wire, and basic circuit. Right. So we're going to probably need a lot of redstone. How do you make a basic circuit again? I totally forgot. Uh, bronze plate, copper wires, and redstone. Okay. Oh, right. Bronze plate, copper wire, and redstone. And then we'll need a copper wire and some glass. Glass. I'll lay the foundations of our um, launcher thing there. Which one is it? There you go. Okay, so we need that there, that there. There it is. That's our T1. Now then, for a T2, we need an advanced circuit which is two more basic circuits oh my god I'll just take all of it um, oh god uh, two basic circuits okay so the basic circuits are like this Aren't we're gonna be making lots of these maybe I'll just like in between episodes make a bunch of these things and then we won't have to keep making them over and over again. We need like some sort of um, machine that makes them automatically. That'd be awesome. Uh, right, so we need that either. Ah, oh, we need diamond now. Jesus. Actually, this is the first time I've been using my diamond, so that's quite good. Um, actually, what am I saying? We don't want to be using diamonds. God. Uh, and then we need steel and that. Okay. So if I can remember this right, just like that, and then we need a copper cable. Okay, that is our T2. Right, I think I'm going to settle for a T2 at the moment, because this is just a whole other circuit, and oh my god. Right, so we'll get a T3, I think, one of these. So we just need more bronze. <laughs> just all bronze and steel, this. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we'll need some more steel. Let's make a T2, we need it surrounded in steel, there it is, and then we need six more plates, okay, oh, that's only four, there we go, put that in the wrong place obviously, oh no I didn't, that was right, okay right, so we've got our basic well, not basic, actually, we've got T3s of two things. I'll make a T3 for, um, control panel for the next episode. But now we'll need some sort of power coming up to the control panel. So, uh, let's see. We want 
some sort of wire coming from here. Maybe? Yeah, I think from here. If we just break through that. Okay. Like so. There we go. Now that's joined up. And now we'll want this to connect to the control panel. Where is my control? There it is. So put the control panel there. Now that should be filling up. There we go. That is filling up. Uh, oh, that's full up. Okay, that's good. Uh, now we'll want the launcher platform to go just behind it. Now look at that, baby. Jesus Christ. And then we'll want this next to that. Right, so we want to put a missile in there. Missile silo is empty, yes, I know. Um, and then we can launch. So if we make a missile quickly. Um, right. Well, actually, we'll make the uh, a radar gun first because, and then next episode we will launch the missile. Um, and I'll promise I will get the next episode out after a day that this one's been um, uploaded so that you guys don't need to wait. Um, right, so we'll need steel, a button. Okay, that's a bit odd. Um, but okay. Um, what? I can't remember how to make one. Ah, oh, there we go. So, um, that like that. Oh, wrong place. I'm running out of copper wires as well. And then we'll need a button. No, that's concrete. Do we have any stone? I don't think we do. Now I'll quickly cook up some stone. Um, and then we'll need a piece of glass and some steel. Okay, so that's fine. That's all ready. Go on, stone. Cook up. Cook up. And I think once we've made this radar gun, I'll explain what it is and we will end the episode there. And the next episode, we will launch the missile. Well, actually, we'll have to make a missile first. To choose what missile we, we want. Um, right, so, we need uh, steel here. Basic circuit, a button, and uh, some glass. Now, we need to power this up. Putting it in there. Powers up pretty quickly. Doesn't need much power. Right, that'll do. And what we need to do with the ray gun, a uh, ray gun, this is a ray gun, <laughs> the ray gun, right, um, so wherever we want to aim, so let's say if I want to aim for that tree there, is scan the coordinates of that tree, and then we just click on the control panel, and now those coordinates are taken from there, okay, so that's, that's um, locked on, ready to go, now all we need is the um, missile. Uh, before I go, I'm just going to say that this support frame here, uh, that will make it so that the inaccuracy is zero blocks. T3 means th it, the inaccuracy is zero blocks, so it will definitely hit where I aim. Whereas if it was a T2, I think it would probably be a couple of blocks, I don't know. Um, and then going up to T T1, that would probably be about 60 blocks or so. So for next episode, guys, we will launch a missile and... Blast off. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you next episode.